And one of the impacted businesses are gyms and, as we mentioned, youth sports. But it's not just youth sports being impacted, it will also affect school sports. Our Alex Tejada spoke with a gym owner and some involved with sports about how this ruling will affect potential upcoming seasons. I feel like we're more prepared this time around than we were prior. Even with a lot more virtual classes to offer, it will still be a hit to the pocketbook. I'm torn between uh, being upset and feeling targeted while also still trying to understand the public health aspect of it. Yet he hopes the restrictions are not extended past four weeks. Four weeks from after the closure is coming up on New Year's, and that is a historically very busy time for gyms. And a busy time for youth basketball. We actually got our first weekend of league games, which we play out at the volleyball center. We got those in. But those have been canceled. Basically, we are in shutdown right now due to uh, the Rochester schools closing gyms. Many football and volleyball seasons had to be paused due to distance learning, and these new restrictions cancel any chance of resuming the seasons. And certainly with the, the upcoming uh, news, um, you know, our, our seasons are done for football and volleyball. As for the future of winter sports, that would push the start of basketball, the start of wrestling. Uh, dance was scheduled to start uh, on the 9th, and that has been, uh, some schools have, have been doing it. For us here, it's been virtual only because of our distance learning. Which has been difficult for students, especially with outlets outside of the classroom being restricted. There certainly are kids that are really missing it. Um, I have a daughter that's a senior. She certainly is missing her activities. McCready says that after a short football season, some kids were just grateful to get the chance to play at all. None of us is ever sure what tomorrow is going to bring any time of our lives. So I think we should all appreciate what we have no matter what. I'd, I'd like to think that we're, we're going to be okay. In Rochester, Alex Tejada, Fox 47 News. For Rochester Community Youth Basketball, the acting president is unsure whether games will be postponed or canceled, saying that it depends on available courts. And at St. Charles and other high schools, the same situation applies to winter sports where the season is still up in the air.